Other than contact sheets, Bridge CS4 can also create a web photo gallery. A website that features a home page with thumbnail images as well as gallery pages with full size images. To create a web photo gallery, let's return to the Bridge CS4 output panel. And this time, instead of PDF, let's click on the Web Gallery button. The Web Photo Gallery has its own list of templates, so let's go ahead and click on the template list and select Lightroom Flash Gallery. Or if you'd like, you can select any other template from the list. Now, under the template list, there's a style list. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and select Mossy Rock. Or if you'd like, you can choose any other style. To see what your web photo gallery will look like, click on the Refresh Preview button. If you'd like a live preview in a web browser such as Internet Explorer, click on the Preview in Browser button instead. Your default web browser should open up with a preview of your web photo gallery. Once it has, let's check out some of its components. Go ahead and click on the right arrow button underneath the image to scroll through the images. You can also use your scroll bar to maneuver through your images on the left side of the window. Click on a thumbnail of an image to see its full size. Let's go back to Bridge CS4 and try out a different style by clicking on the Style drop-down menu. This time, try selecting Warm Day. Afterwards, click on the Site Info section. Once this section's been expanded, click in the Site Title text box and type African Safari. Afterwards, click on the Collector Title text box and type Photographs. Let's continue and click in the Collection Description text box. You can also add copyright info such as 2008 or any other date. Afterwards, let's scroll down a little bit more. Now, before we do anything else, let's preview in the browser again by clicking on the Preview in Browser button. As you can see, there's new text as well as a new style added to the web photo gallery. Go ahead and check out the components of the web photo gallery and preview it for yourself. If you like the way your web photo gallery turned out, let's return to the Bridge CS4 window. Scroll up in the Output panel. And under the Create Gallery section, click on the Save to Disk Radial button. Afterwards, click on the Browse button in order to set a location to save your files. Since Desktop is already selected, we're going to go ahead and click on the OK button. Afterwards, click on the Save button. Go ahead and click on the OK button. Now to see your file, go to your desktop. And there you'll find a folder called African Safari. Go ahead and double click on it to see its contents.